What's going on everyone, this is Kreiner. Before I get into the hitting tips, I'll just give a bit of background on myself. I've been playing competitive since MLB The Show 19. Uh, I've been top 5 lifetime since 19 and 20. Uh, I was a bit lower this year just because I didn't play as much, but last year I did win the MLB The Show Fall Circuit and won 15k. So now let's get into the settings I use to become a top player. All right, so here are my settings. Um, I re recommend strongly using Strike Zone or Strike Zone High. Pretty much every competitive player uses one of these two. I've always used Strike Zone. I think it's the best because I can see the ball the best. But it's really you can use Strike Zone or Strike Zone High. Anything else is not that good. Um, I recommend in play view offense at high. This, again, doesn't matter as much, but I've always used high, and I just see all of the field better, like, just for base running. So it's not as important, but I know some people use dynamic and medium, but I've always used high. So for the hitting interface, you guys really want to use zone. Anything other than zone is not good, and you won't be able to get to even World Series without using zone, in my opinion. The way you make your PCI is all preference. I've, since the beginning of 20 when they introduced it, I've used the circles 100% yellow. But again, this is preference. I know a lot of com competitive players who use a lot of different things. But I think the best way to hit uh, since 20 with the new PCI is using the PCI center and that being it. But again, this is all preference, but this is what I use. So getting into uh, custom practice, what I use to warm up usually um, especially since t 21 when they introduced this, uh, I recommend if you're struggling with a fastball, for example, I recommend going into custom practice facing Goose Gossage, and you can deselect everything and just face four seamers. So for example, if say you're struggling, you can just face four seamers down the middle and just keep hitting it and see um, how you can get better. But again, this is what I recommend. Um, if you're struggling with a certain pitch, uh, maybe a couple pitches, or if it's a, it's a certain pitcher that you're struggling with, I recommend strongly going to custom BP. That's how I got better from going to like a top 50 player to a top 5 player. I th that's the biggest thing that can separate you is just countless reps in um, custom BP. To end the video, I'll just show you guys a couple swings and custom batting practice I have. You guys can just watch my PCI, see how I move it. Again, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. This is my first video, so I'm definitely going to forget something that I wanted to mention in this video. So again, if you have a question, just leave a comment. I'll make sure to get to it. But again, this is just me being patient um, in custom BP. I just try to be very selective, just because if I get into a chasing mode in custom BP, or if anyone does, it'll get to you in-game, I think. I feel like if you can replicate your custom batting practice, that'll be, that's really good. Even though I'm, you can miss a couple pitches, like you'll, everyone is usually a bit rusty in custom BP. No one's just going to go into custom BP on Legend and just start hitting home runs off of every single pitch. But if you guys can just take good swings, have good timing, try to pull the ball on inside, go, go with it on outside pitches, you guys will be good. That's the biggest thing, just replicating your reps and custom BP into online. If you guys can do that, you guys will see improvement a lot, in my opinion. Because in 17, I was a below average to average player. I went 12-0 and once, and that was the luckiest run I probably ever had. But you definitely don't want to take swings like that. But the biggest improvement I see is just playing online games the most, as much as you can. That was the best way I got better, and I've seen a lot of people who just play a lot. I know it sounds like the most boring answer to get better, but if you can just see more and more people online and how people pitch and get used to a PCI, it's going to help you out a lot. It's very hard to stay consistent at this game if you don't play a lot. I recognized that last year for me. My best time playing was when I was playing the most and when I was the most locked in. But the biggest thing is just staying locked in through all... Like I know it's hard... For me at least to stay locked in when you're up like eight runs but if you come off the breaks a little bit um the next game for example it's really hard to get back locked in you want to stay locked in every at bat no matter what the score is i know it's hard because i struggle with it but the biggest thing is just staying locked in the whole at bat every single pitch of the game you have to stay locked in if you really want to become that top player or just get better say you're trying to get You've been a Hall of Fame player, but you really want to get to World Series. If you just don't take any pitch off, it can really help you. If you guys enjoyed the video, please dr drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to be posting more YouTube content.
playing some ranked seasons. I'm going to try to get to World Series undefeated. And I'm going to do some BR runs also to get those collections done. But again, if you guys have any questions for me, please drop them in the comments. Don't be afraid to ask. I know I missed something again. So hope everyone has a good day and is enjoying MLB 22. Have a great rest of your day.